In this lesson, we will focus on the addition of two functions. So as you can see here, so meron tayong dalawang functions dito. So the first function is f of x equals 2x plus 3. And another function, we have g of x equals x squared naman. Okay, so ang gagawin natin dito, uh, we are tasked to find the sum of the two function. Okay, so let me rewrite here the, the sum. So f of x plus g of x. So parang distributed property lang ginawa natin dyan. No? Si f minultiply kay x, meron tayong f of x. Ganun din si g. So here, so here we have f of x, no? So, ang f of x natin, alam naman natin na yan ay 2x plus 3. So, sulat lang natin yung dito sa, sa baba. 2x plus 3 plus another function we have g of x and that is x squared. So, okay. So, madali na lang yan, no? Ang natin gagawin, we will combine like terms. At kung wala naman dapat i-combine, i-arrange na lang natin from highest degree hanggang sa lowest degree. Okay? So, nauna si x squared plus 2x plus 3. And that will be the final answer. For our next example, we have the function v and w. In the first equation, we have p of x equals 5x plus 1. And for the second equation, we have 3x minus 2. So here, same thing happened ang mangyayari sa ginawa natin kanina. So v uh, multiplied by x, we have p of x plus another function, we have w of x. Okay? So, so now let's write down here the function v and the w. So, if we have 5x plus 1 para sa ating v of x and then lagyan natin ng parenthesis para hindi nakakalito. No? So, plus uh, w of x we have 3x minus 2. So, isulat natin yan dito. Okay? So, yan. 3x minus 2. Okay. So, next. Ang gagawin naman natin dyan no? So, let's combine like terms na tayo. Now, 5x plus 1 plus 3x minus 2. Ang galing ko muna ulit yung parenthesis, no? Since wala naman na uh, dapat pagsamayin dun sa loob ng parenthesis. So, 3x minus 2. Ayan. Now, that's the time na kung sasamasamayin natin ang magkamuka. So, 5x plus 3x. Hindi, pagtabihin muna natin, no? So, 5x plus 3x. And then, we have plus 1 and negative uh, minus 2. Ayan. So, 5x plus 3x, we have 8x and then 1 minus 2, that is negative 1. And that's the sum of the two function. So, let's move on to the next operation. And now, what about the difference of the two functions? If we have f of x equals 3x squared plus 4 and g of x equals x minus 5, we are tasked to find the difference between the two functions. Okay, so ngayon, let me rewrite here uh, f of x and then uh, minus another function. So we have uh, g of x. Ayan. So, ilagay natin g of x dito. Ayan. So, yun yung uh, susundin natin format. No? So, sa baba, uh, f of x natin is 3x squared plus 4. So, susulat ko lang yan dito. Ayan. So, for our first function. So, lagay natin ang parenthesis no, para hindi nakakalito. And then, another function. no, Sinuntrak natin sa another function. We have g of x and that is... Uh, x minus 5. Ayan. So now, ang gagawin natin dyan is, uh, so isulat ko muna ulit dito yung 3x squared plus 4 and then distribute ko si minus sign dun sa x and minus 5. So negative 
times uh, positive x, that is negative x. Negative times negative 5, that is positive 5. So now we combine like terms 3x squared, wala siyang kamukha, bababa ko lang yan. And then negative x, wala rin kamukha yan. And then yung 4 and 5, pag pinagsama yan, we have 9 or positive 9. And that will be our final answer. So 3x squared minus x plus 9. Another example here is f of x equals 9 minus x squared and g of x equals 5x squared plus 2x plus 1. And dito, hanapin naman natin yung g minus f of x. Pero as you can see, nauna si g dun sa f. No? Possible yun. So we have g of x minus f of x. Okay? So in this case, mauna lang si g dun sa f. Now, let's write here. Uh, the g of x, so which is uh, 5x squared plus 2x plus 1. So, yan, lagyan ko muna ng parenthesis dyan sa baba. No? So, 5x squared plus 2x plus 1. Ayan, yun yung g of x natin. And yung f of x naman natin, we have 9 minus x squared. Okay, so, for the next... Uh, Step, no? Baba ko muna si 5x squared plus 2x plus 1. And then distribute ko yung minus sign dun sa 9 minus x squared. No? So we have negative 9. And negative times negative x squared, we have positive x squared. And then combine like terms natin, at i-arrange natin from highest to lowest. No? So pagtabihin ko muna si 5x squared and then uh, x squared. Okay, so we have 2x and we have 1 minus 9. So for the last step, simplify natin, no? We have 6x squared plus 2x minus 8, okay? Dahil 1 minus 9 is 8. That will be our final answer.